Hi. Hi. I'm Aubrey. And I'm Amy. And you're, and you're watching, watching Food, Food Mania, Mania Review. Review. Food Mania Review. So today we have some chips from where? Chipland. From Europe. That's Jeff behind us. <laughs> His name is Jeff. He's like a new pool floaty that we got. Yeah, we put him in the pool and we'll see how it works. You know, I took that trip to Western and Eastern Europe where I was in several different countries and I picked up some different chips uh, that were unique that we don't have here in the United States. This Lay's brand, which we have here. This one I brought back just because we fell in love with these in Canada. Oh, we love these so much. Those um, are ketchup. The ketchup, the highest ketchup chips, they are. Delicious. Yeah, and then this one is um, paprika okay. flavored. And then classic burger. Yeah, this is like a hamburger, classic hamburger flavor. And I got these chips in the, I think in the Netherlands. I believe, I, yes, it could have been Belgium, but I'm almost positive it was in the Netherlands. Honestly, you guys, I went to so many different countries, like bam, 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 bam. It's hard for me to remember where I was. I didn't write it down, so. But I'm pretty sure I was in the Netherlands and we were in a rest stop taking a break. We were driving from one city to another and they had this whole thing of chips. I'm like, whoa, look at all these different flavors. I can't wait to bring them back for Aubrey to try. This one I've actually tried. I tried it while I was there. This one I have not tried. All right, we get started? Let's do it. Which one do you want to do first? Well, I guess, do you want to be the least excited? Yeah, since we've already had that. Let's okay, just... I just want to eat some though. You're like, we're just hungry. We just want chips. They don't love ketchup -y. What? Oh, they smell ketchup -y. How's it? Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. I love these. They need to bring these into the like the United States. This is like not okay for them to not have them in the United Lays, States. Like, we want ketchup chips. I mean like we are literally the nation of ketchup. I like, know, who eats more ketchup than us? Exactly. And you can only get these in Canada and the Netherlands? What country are you from? Do you have ketchup flavored chips where you're from? Because Americans consume tons of ketchup. But not ketchup chips. But we don't have these available here. You have to go to Canada and bring them back. Mm -hmm. It's like contraband. Oh. Okay. Which one next? Want to do this one? Paprika. Paprika chips. Mm. They just smell like barbecue. <laughs> they mostly just taste like a chip, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like these taste like a little less tangy barbecue chip. Yeah. More just like a seasony barbecue chip, but less tangy. They're good though. Yeah, yeah, I like them. Yeah, I got a little addicted to these when we were on our trip. The trip I'm talking about, sorry, my throat's all weird right now. I'm a comedian and I did a 20 day tour of countries in Western and Eastern Europe performing for American military troops overseas. And Netherlands was one of the stops. <clears throat> So if you look at one of our last videos, we did candy bars from all over, mostly some Western Europe, but like some Eastern European countries. Classic burger. All right, now I mean, this shows a picture of like a burger with a bun and lettuce and tomato and the meat. It makes me want an actual burger, you know what I mean? It makes me a little afraid it's though. It's gonna be disappointing. Anytime like. something like is supposed to taste like a, a meat product, but it's not meat, it makes me a little concerned, so I don't know. All right, smell test. What? Okay. <laughs> We're both confused. It doesn't smell like a burger. It doesn't smell bad. Just like it just doesn't smell like a burger. What is this? Though. It tastes like those Pringles that we used to have. Remember the hamburger Pringles? Yeah. You know what I feel like this mostly tastes like if we're like comparing it to an actual hamburger? The pickles and the mustard and the ketchup. Yeah. Like if you put mustard, pickles, and ketchup together, it would taste like this. I like it though. It's weird, but I like it. It doesn't taste like a burger at all, though. Like, there's nothing beefy it like about it. It just tastes like the in and out special sauce. That's basically Thousand Island, though, isn't it? <clears throat> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this, doesn't, this doesn't taste meaty at all, though, like a beef patty. It reminds me of in and out. In and out. Okay. I mean, three. My favorite is still ketchup. Oh, when do we put ketchup with the burger? Mm, yeah. So it doesn't taste like a burger. <laughs> I really like these too, though. <clears throat> but I love barbecue chips. That tastes weird. Okay, wait. I have to do it actually together. Okay. I'm gonna get this similar size. Okay. Ketchup, burger together. 
Strange, right? It's kind of a nice combo. Uh, not my favorite. So many different flavors all at once. <laughs> I love chips. Oh my yeah, gosh. Chips. Why do you have to be so good? So on our last video, we shot this angle, with our kitchen behind us, and a lot of you said that you actually preferred it. Yeah. So we're still doing it because our house is going to be under construction for a couple more months, and um, <clears throat> and then you also said since the camera's a little closer to us, you can hear us better, so that's cool. Oh nice. Um, we'll quickly though, and then we'll end this video. We'll show you what the rest of the house looks like over mm -hmm. here, which is why we're not shooting that direction anymore. Here's our kitchen, mm -hmm. and as you can see, it's kind of all torn up over here. Oops, sorry. Um, there used to be a wall here. And so the wall has been taken out. This is going to be a kitchen island. This is just, um, they put a, just a temporary one so we could see the size of it, where it's going to be, the placeholder. They took our whole ceiling out and redid it because they're gonna have new lighting in here. And there's our front door. So I don't know if you ever saw, there used to be a wall here. If you remember our Christmas tree would be up there and stuff. But uh, that's all gone now. And as of tomorrow afternoon, this entire wall where the front door is, and that window, it's uh, it's gonna be gone. They're gonna rip it out, I think, tomorrow afternoon. So um, we'll show you some updates. Also, you can see our floor is covered to be protected. Our furniture is all completely moved. Most of our, that's everything from our kitchen pantries and cabinets uh, and storage boxes. Basically, we are um, kind of glamping here in our own house. So that's why we are shooting in a different direction. Oh, not that direction. And there we are, back to the beautiful Aubrey Anderson Evans. Oh, and guess what? Aubrey just turned 12. Yep. She's 12! I am 12. She turned 12 on June 6th. Feel different? No. People always ask me on your birthday, do you feel different? Do you feel 12? Do you feel I older? I actually read <laughs> something about that this year in school. Yeah. It was like this weird story or whatever, it's like, when you're eleven, like when you turn eleven, you don't feel eleven. When you turn thirteen, you don't feel thirteen. Like that's true. Yeah, it comes with time, like the feeling of being that age, I guess. Well, I still say I'm eleven sometimes, but oh my gosh, I'm forty-six. No, I don't think I feel forty-six. I don't even know what that means. When I was a kid, though, I thought forty-six was pretty old. You probably think forty-six is old, don't you? Yes. <laughs> But now that I am 46, I don't feel as old as I thought it was when I was a kid. Really? Does that make sense? Because 48 seemed like, oh man, like your life's practically over, right? <laughs> Childhood is like way done and, but I feel like I have so many years of life ahead of me and I'm just, you know, it's called middle age this age. I just feel like I'm only halfway, halfway done. If that, because I'm going to live to a million. No, I mean, I feel like people easily are living, if they're healthy, living well into their late 80s and Sometimes 90s. Hundreds. Yeah, I don't think it's that well, I mean, crazy like, to live time, into your 90s anymore. We're by living by like longer and longer. 20 or 30 years, so they're probably gonna have like more weird technology to make us like live longer. You know what I mean? I don't know that I want to really live much past my 90s. It'd be cool to make it to 100 if you're not miserable. True. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're still able to walk around and go yeah. to restaurants and visit friends. Well, your friends will probably all be dead. <laughs> That's okay. That'll be sad then. I mean, that is a well, lot of old friends in your nursing home. I mean, like, yeah, a lot of old people. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So you're just gonna put me in a nursing home? <laughs> wait, what? You're the one who's always like, Aubrey, when you're older, you should put me into a nursing home. And no, like, I said oh, you better put me into a good nursing home because you have a good job. Oh, well, yeah. So I thought, you know, I'm going Most to nursing home. homes are pretty bad. I meant like, you better put me into like a really top drawer kind of place. But still, the thing is, I, you're like, eh, I'm gonna be in a nursing home. Yeah, you're gonna be in a nursing home probably unless you're like super fit. You're not gonna let me come live with you. When I'm really, really old. Um, and I have no one to take care of me. <laughs> okay. If I, had time to, if I had time to take care of you, I would. But if I didn't, I would want someone to take care of you because I wouldn't be able to. Um, come visit me? Yes. It's just like the most depressing conversation. <laughs> we just talked See, about how I felt so old. 
I mean, not old. Oh my god, these chips are fantastic. I know, right? Those are my knees, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> that was our uh, chips from We Think the Netherlands video. Possibly yep. Belgium, but I think it was the Netherlands. Let us know if you have these chips where you come from. And what other interesting flavors do you have in your country that maybe we don't have here? Yeah. But I think it's always interesting to see what other countries. Like you go to Asia, they always have like lots of shrimp flavored chips and soy sauce flavored chips. The shrimp chips. flavored ones are so interesting and weird. Oh my God, when we were in... Um, when we were on. Oh my God. When we were in the Netherlands, um, as you may or may not know, they have really good Indonesian restaurants there because they are in that country. So anyway, um, we ate at an Indonesian restaurant when I was there and it had uh, shrimp chips and sambal with this Indonesian sauce. Oh my god. I could just eat. There was, because I don't generally like shrimp chips that much, but the ones in this restaurant were just so light and not overly fishy, shrimpy tasting. And they had their own homemade sambal sauce. I could have just eaten <sighs> all night. They were so good. Now I want shrimp chips and dip. Did you hear Ruby? She's like, all right, you guys, that's it for, did you just kill no, that? Okay. No. That's it for our awesome Lay's chips from the Netherlands video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Oh, All good, good things. Videos. And thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. We'll have some more videos coming up soon. I'm Amy. I mean, I'm Aubrey. <laughs> we should yeah. have a blooper reel of how many times you've done that <laughs> I know, right? over the years. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you're who? I'm Aubrey. Hoo hoo. I'm Amy. <laughs> and you've been watching Food, Food Mania, Mania Review. Review.